Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door latch assembly on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, since we will be working near some electrical circuits, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to your dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a cord on it, simply unplug it. If not, locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. Once we've done that, we can start our repair. So we're just going to open the door up. We're going to remove all of the screws that secure the outer door panel and the console to the inner door panel. These are all number two Phillips screws, but there are different lengths. So be sure to take note of where you remove the different screws. On this particular model, these three bottom screws that secure the outer panel to the inner panel are all about three quarters of an inch long. There are also eight more screws around the control panel on this, and they are a different length. So take note of those. They're approximately an inch in length. Now the final four screws are where the door hook enters the door latch opening. And be sure to support that whole assembly as you remove the last screw. So just carefully separate the outer door panel and console assembly from the inner door panel. Now the door latch is hooked into the console with a couple of tabs that are a little hard to see from the outside, but if we simply roll it back, those two tabs will pull out of these two holes in that console. So again, be sure to support that door assembly. We next need to remove the wire harnesses from the old door latch. It's probably best to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm just going to pry those connectors away from the switches. Take note of where each of these wires are attached. And this single white one, you may need to use a pair of needle nose pliers. Be sure to grasp the connector and not the wire. You can then discard the old door latch assembly. Reconnect the wires in the same position. Be sure they're firmly pressed onto the individual switches. And we're going to position that assembly so that these two hooks fit into the two square holes on the bottom of that console. Simply rotate it forward until it lies flush. We can then press the two halves of the door together and secure with at least one screw. Again, keeping in mind the longer screws go into the console. Use caution that we don't over tighten these screws as they are going into plastic and you don't want to strip those out.
And now we'll go ahead and put the shorter screws in that secure the front panel to the inner door panel. Make sure the edge of that panel lines up and that the inner door panel is tucked in behind it. Check the operation of the latch. We're now ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.